bearing and distances seems to be a part of mathematics that so many of our subscribers are very much interested in and that is an indication that people are really having some tough times some challenges working on them so we've been having requests to help solve one or two questions from that same topic and here again in one of our videos is the video on bearing and distances with Sokatua so past question from 2018 while works exam one of our subscribers was making a request and here it is request that two points are on this on a level ground 350 meters apart and the bearing of s from r is 147 degrees from r the bearing of the radio mast is 055 degrees and from s the bearing is 0 32 degrees the angle of elevation at the top of the mast from r is 20 degrees you have to find the height of the mass and you can see the request i would really appreciate a video on this question i'm a new subscriber okay so we are going to be looking at that in this video and see how we are going to go about solving that question you can see this video is also another request from one of our subscribers and that's why we're always soliciting that you should go ahead subscribe to our channel if you have any difficulty in any of the topics any of the subjects we are addressing just give us a question like this we will do our best to ensure that we tackle them and you will be able to gain that academic excellence that you are looking for like the video share with your friends share with your loved ones and together let's build academic excellence system. so let's go ahead with our question for today all right so let's see how we can interpret the question so that we'll answer them as appropriate first we're told that the two points r and s are on level ground 350 meters apart okay but the bearing of S from R is 147 degrees. The bearing being from R means that we we'll take that bearing from R. So if you are to look at the location R, let me just take the four cardinal points there from say here. Okay. And then can label it as this is the north, this is the south, this is the east, and this is the west. And this is point R. This is point r okay so we are told that the bearing of s from r is 147 147 is going to be in this second quadrant because from the north to the east is a right angle that is 90 degrees from the north to the south is a straight line that's 180 degrees so 147 is lying between 90 and 180 so it's going to be somewhere around here so let me just indicate that to say we are having something like this okay and that is 147 degrees then we can actually extend that line to the point r let's take it like this okay so this other point here that we are having at the base that will be the point s okay then Let's go on with the interpretation of the question. We are now told that from R, the bearing of a radio mast is 055 degrees. So 055 degrees is less than 90. That's going to be in this first quadrant between the north and the east. So if you want to take note of that again, let's just say um, we are looking at 55. So something like this. Okay, so this is 055. Five degrees and then we can also just get that drawing with something like this okay and from s the bearing is 0 and 32 degrees what are we talking about we're still talking about the radio mass so from our the bearing of the radio mass is 55 and from s the bearing of that radio mass is 32 degrees so we need to come to s here and take our four cardinal points okay so on s we also have the north the south the east and the west so this is point s okay and then there we are to take a bearing of 032 degrees to the mast if you are taking 032 degrees 032 degrees will also be in this first quadrant it's less than 90 so you just take something like this okay from the north you know this is 032 okay 
then we can actually take that bearing to the mast as requested. You can see how this is actually forming our triangle now. Let's just tidy up this. Now, what we need to notice is that we are told that the two points R and S, they are on level ground, 350 meters apart. So, here, the distance between them here, okay, if I'm using red ink for that, the distance between R and S, this is 350 meters, okay, so, and they are on the same level ground. Now, this particular location here, the mast that we are talking about, this mast, is also on the level ground that's what we just need to note so this is m and m is also on the level ground in short all of this that we are doing on the bearing the bearing is being taken on the ground level so what i would just want to do is i want to color that so that we will not be mixing up stuffs as we are going to be putting up other information let's just have this as is So this colored triangle is on the level ground and that's what we really really need to look at that. But that's not the end of the information that we're giving. We're also told that the angle of elevation of the top of the mast from R is 20. Now what we did on the bearing is just on the ground level. We have to talk about the top of the mast. Let's say we are going to have the mast to be something like this. Just have a pictorial view of the mass okay that's the level ground that's where the base is and if we are looking at the mass as this okay this is the mass we're not being told that the angle of elevation of the top of the mass now where's the top of the mass this has to be the top of the mass let's call that t okay the angle of elevation of that top of the mass from r from r so this is r so we want to take our inclination there. We we'll just say from here, from here, here to the top of the mass T. This is 20 degrees. So we can just look at this and say this is 20 degrees. All right. Now this is the interpretation of the question that will really help us to solve this question. And the question is that we should find the height of the mass. Now. There are two triangles that we are seeing here. There's this first triangle on the ground level that is colored here in is colored here in this light brown, and there's this that is actually from R. If I'm to depict that correctly, if you look at R, this is the person viewing, and from R, the person is looking up to the top of the mass. At initially, the eye will be looking straight on assuming let's say is on the ground level but to have an elevation we raise the high and it is raising the high on an angle of 20 degrees to see the top of the mass so this is the interpretation of the question that we now need to use the triangles that we have here to solve for the height of the mass the height of the mass is tm or we can say let's just say this is height h okay so how do we go about finding the height of the mast? Now looking at the triangle RTM from RTM from triangle RTM, we can use Sokatua. That trigonometric identity can tell us that here from R, the height, considering this angle, the height here is the opposite. Okay, this is the opposite. And here, yeah, this line, this is the adjacent. And what is relating the opposite and the adjacent to this particular angle 20? We can see it is tan. So, if you can find the adjacent of this triangle, okay, we can use tan 20 to relate the opposite over the adjacent so that we can find the opposite. But for us to get the adjacent, we need to make use of this triangle on the ground level, the one that is colored in light brown. So that's what we are going to do to try and interpret the information on this particular triangle so that we can get that adjacent and use that adjacent to solve for the height of the mass, which is the opposite of the triangle that is inclined at 20 degrees to the horizontal. Okay, so 
let's try and do that first let me just eliminate the mask so that we'll see the information very well okay you can see we just eliminate the mask so we are having this now to solve for this we have 350 meters here we don't know the angle here but we have some information with respect to this point r and this point s and let me just identify this way. if this is m this side opposite m will be small m so 350 is small m if this is s the side opposite this will be small s if this is r the side opposite it will be small r but we can get this angle here i want to use my blue hint we can get this angle here because from the north to the inclination of s from r we are giving us 147 but from the north to the inclination of the mast from from r is 55 so here this angle will be 147 minus 55 so we can say that is 147 minus 55 okay and this will be 2 14 minus 5 will be 9 okay so here this angle here is angle 92 degrees all right now for this particular angle at s we have gotten the inclination from the north to the mass that is 32 we are given the question but with our understanding of alternate angles look at what i want to show you from the south here we will take a line from the south to her from her to s okay and then from s to the north at s we can see two angles that are being featured in there this one here this angle here and this angle here now the cool thing is that they are equal because they are alternate angles you see they are forming something like z and that is the feature of alternate angles so this angle and this angle they are equal now how do we get this angle from the north to the south is a straight line and we know that angle on a straight line is 180 degrees okay but from the north to the inclination of s from r we are given as 147 so for us to get here it will be 180 which is the angle on the straight line minus 147 that we have taken out so if you have to subtract 147 from there then if you borrow one from eight this will remain seven this will be ten ten minus seven is thirty okay seven minus four is thirty so this angle here is thirty three and consequently this angle is also thirty three okay now we have thirty three here and thirty two here so these two angles these two angles here will be thirty two plus thirty three and that will be sixty five degrees okay now we can look at triangle RSM and looking at that triangle we can see that we need this particular angle okay the angle at M here because we know that if we can find that we know the side facing that angle okay then we know this angle at S will be 65 and we are looking for the side opposite that which is small s and now such a relationship in which we can know two angles and one of the opposing sides while we are looking for the other opposing side we can use the side rule to get there so from the laws and the properties of triangles we know that the sum of angles of a triangle is 180 degrees so if we had r plus angle s plus angle m we know that that is going to give us 180 degrees why because they are the sum of angles of a triangle all right these are the sum of angles of a triangle they add up to 180 degrees and r we have gotten to be 92 degrees okay the angle at s we just got to be 65 degrees we are looking for the angle at m the sum of the three will be 180 degrees so that m will be 180 degrees minus 92 plus 65 2 and 5 that is 7 9 and 6 that is 15 okay so 180 minus 157 this should be 10 minus 7 that is 3 this remaining 7 7 minus 5 that is 23 degrees so the angle at m here this is 23 degrees okay so having gotten that we can now say we want to look at how to use the sine rule to solve for this particular side s that we can make use of to now use on the elevation so that we can get the height of the mass as requested in the question so 
we just say that using sign rule using the sign rule that can help us to say um to say s over sign s is equal to m the side facing and going over the sign of the angle at m and here if you just cross multiply if you are just to cross multiply we can just see that our s in that case will be m sine s divided by sine m and if you have to put the value what is the value for him we have gotten that to be 350 okay sine s that is 65 over sine m the angle at m that is 23 degrees so so if you bring in our calculator and we say 350 sine 65 or close that bracket divided by sine 23 and just 23 not 22 and just punching in that straight you can see that is 811.83 so s is 811.83 meters but that is not all so we've just been able to get this particular side s to be 811.83 if you are not to bring in the mast if you are to bring in the diagram for the mast and let me just bring out this diagram here if i will use blue pink that means we are having something like this just a depiction of the mass okay so here we have this as angle 20 s we have gotten to be 811 point eight three and we are looking for h all right now for us to solve this we have identified that it is tan theta because tan tan theta is equal to opposite over adjacent so that's what we are going to use here we are looking for the opposite we know the adjacent adjacent and we have the angles so that we can say tan 20 is equal to the opposite in this particular right angle triangle because the mass is standing straight so it's at right angle to the adjacent it is the opposite which is h over the adjacent which is 811.83 such that in this case our h will be 811.83 tan 20 okay so if you are to evaluate that it's just the answer we just got the answer than 20 degrees okay so that is going to give us 295.48 or can just say 295.5 so this is going to be 295.5 meters and just like that we've been able to get the solution the answer to this particular question you can see mudashi baba today how the good interpretation of the question to get the two different triangles that will be featured there first the one on the ground level in which we feature the bearing and then the other one including the height of the mast in which we are talking about the angle of elevation how that has helped us to effectively solve this question as appropriate and that is why um we are hoping that if you are yet to subscribe to this channel for our other viewers you can see that we are putting in effort to ensure that you have a good grasp of your subject matter and you also get to make that excellence in your academics as they are so go ahead and subscribe to our channel like the videos share with your friends share with your loved ones if you find it useful don't keep it to yourself we can together build academic excellence in students and we know we are going to make the world a better place it's day to academy and until next time god bless you